Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, temperatures rise rather than fall tonight, and the net result will be a much milder and breezy uh, Wednesday afternoon. Check out conditions outside. We'll head outside to Providence. It's mainly clear. There's a few patchy clouds, but it's really a nice night for this time of year. Temperatures that are in the uh, mid 30s, mid to upper 30s in our northern suburbs. So there's a big, big temperature difference right now. Smithfield's at 36. But you go to the south towards the water near the south shore, it's a lot milder. Tiverton is coming in at 54 and Warwick at 52. So the milder air to our south will reach places like Smithfield later on this evening and during the overnight hours. So the temperature will continue to rise on southerly breezes. So milder tonight compared to last night. Now the warm up for tomorrow is brief, but we should have no problem getting temps well into the 50s, just shy of 60 degrees by around 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It'll start to cool down tomorrow night. I don't see any big storms or heavy precipitation. A few showers on Friday, mainly during the early morning. And even this doesn't look like a big deal as far as duration or amounts of rain. Satellite photo clear across southern New England. Really most of New England, with the exception of uh, Maine and New Hampshire and, and Vermont with some patchy clouds doing OK. Now we're tracking a cold front through the uh, Midwest and the Great Lakes, and you can clearly see where the air, the air masses converge on the back side of the front. The winds are northwest and uh, on the other side of the front, the winds are southwest and where the air masses converge. That's where the cold front is located. And usually along the front, you get some showers and summertime, some thunderstorms, but there's really not a lot of moisture with the front, so I don't anticipate much in the way of rain when it approaches for tomorrow. You can see the, the difference in temperature on either side, mild out across the Midwest and the uh, chilly temperatures through the Northern Plains. So this milder air, the sliver of warmer air headed our way for tomorrow afternoon, and then the colder air returns tomorrow evening, tomorrow night into Thursday. When we take a look at the dew points, how much moisture is in the air, there's a lot of shadings of brown on the map. And quite simply, all this means is that there's really not a lot of moisture in the air. So this front doesn't do much in terms of rainfall. I mean, slight chance there could be a sprinkle tomorrow if that, but basically a dry and breezy day. Let me walk you through it on Futurecast. Starting off this evening and overnight, you see the temperatures going up. So by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, it's at 48 to near 50. Same time this morning at 7 a.m., it was only 20. So we're talking 20, 30 degrees milder tomorrow morning. Sunshine in the afternoon, we're talking mid and upper 50s. A little cooler by 6 o'clock in the evening, but notice the colder air. Nothing unusual, but turning chillier tomorrow evening, tomorrow night as temperatures fall back into the low 30s. Tomorrow morning, much milder, mostly sunny, upper 40s. And by tomorrow afternoon, looking at readings in the upper 50s with the sunshine and a few fair weather clouds. There's the seven day future cast with some cooler weather for Thursday. Friday is really not a bad day after an early morning shower, some sunshine. Weekend is seasonably cool both Saturday and Sunday with a mix of clouds and sun and temperatures in the upper 40s. It's fairly quiet next seven days. No big storms and a little roller coaster ride with the temperatures uh, warmer tomorrow, cooler on Thursday. You've been very lucky so far. Yeah. So, all right. <laughs> thank you, Tony.